hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this microsoft logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started first of all here we are in adobe photoshop over here we have this microsoft logo and i have removed the white background of this logo and i have separated this microsoft text and i have separated this boxes also i'll provide the link of this uh, photoshop file in the description so you can download it and practice it along with this tutorial okay then we will go in adobe after effects and i'm going to create a new composition over here and i'm going to name it as microsoft logo reveal and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection over here now i am going to press ctrl i on my keyboard to import my photoshop file i have this over here import as instead of footage i am going to choose composition written layers and sizes and i will simply hit import and i will hit ok then double click to open this composition and now if you hit ctrl k over here and as you guys can see the height width uh, is totally too much so i am going to cancel it and i will hit ctrl c i, I mean ctrl a to select all of them and then i'll hit ctrl c to copy them then i'll go to this microsoft logo reveal comp and i'll hit ctrl v to paste it now if you see the size is different so let's do one thing right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it a parent with this null now select this null press s and let's decrease this size according to our needs and then i'm going to delete this null object now select all of them and let's try to adjust this properly over here let's try to adjust it at the center over here okay let's close this comp we don't need that now i'm going to select this boxes and i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'm going to name it as box and hit ok now we will go inside this box over here but before that make sure to enable this icon and choose your pen behind tool and let's try to adjust the anchor point at the center now double click to open this box select all of them and enable this motion blur over here now i'm going to enable this snapping icon over here then i'll select this one I zoom in a little bit and let's uh, snap this at this point select this let's snap this anchor point at this point select this let's snap this at this point select this let's snap this this one is down so this one let's say at this point and this one should be at downwards okay so this one is over here this one is over here this one is uh, let's move this over here and this one uh, should be over here or uh, let's move this over here yeah like that okay and simply select all of them and press s unlink those links and create one keyframe each zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames create another keyframe again go to around 1.10 frames create another keyframe then go to the start let's select this and now this time select your selection tool and let's try to move this over here and as you guys can see the x value is changing so let's make it zero then select this one and because the anchor point is over here so we'll bring this downwards from here and let's change this point to zero then select this one this point is over here so let's make this point zero select this and let's move this over here like that so if you see you will get this kind of animation and at this point we need to change the settings of this one so let's uh, select this and let's try to increase the scale from this point select this let's increase the scale from here select this let's increase the scale from here select this let's increase the scale from here like that now select those keyframes and let's hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here but if you see we will get this kind of only x value change because this uh, are not linked so let's hit ctrl z and first of all let's disable this and let's uh, link this scaling properties like this 
now select those keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see this we will get something like this now let's go to the start and let's unlink this let's make this proper zero like this and at this point uh, this should be 39 again okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now let's select all of the keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to move it up to one frame and let's go to around 10 frames i'll select this and i'll move this over here let's select this and let's bring this downwards like this let's select this and let's move this over here then go 10 frame forward again then select this and let's move this over here go somewhere around over here select this and let's move this over here so if you see this you will get this kind of animation okay so our box animation is ready so now let's go over here i'm going to select this box and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it or instead of that let's hit ctrl z go inside this box select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as box animation and hit ok now i'm going to hit ctrl d two times to like that and let's go to around 10 frames select this and move this over here go over here and select this and move this over here now select this middle layer over here go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it like that and choose white color for it so if you see this animation now over here you will get this kind of review and then at somewhere around at this point i'll select this box i mean second layer on which our fill effect is applied and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring them at the top and i'm going to move them somewhere around over here like that so if i see this animation i'll get first this animation like this if you want then let's move this to little bit over here so after some completion of logo that white color should start to animate like that and then select all of the three layers and press t for opacity create one keyframe and let's make this zero okay so if you see this box animation you will get something like this now over here what i want is that uh, hit ctrl 0 i'm going to select this box and i'll hit ctrl d as a box 2 and let's move this box comp over here and now double click to open this and all we need to do is we need to delete this first layer and we need to delete this opacity keyframes we don't want that okay so let's bring this box to downwards and let's hide both of them now i'm going to select this one and i want this thing should be at the middle so i'll move this over here let's press s and let's make this 200 like this or uh, let's say 150 not too much and let's create one keyframe over here go few frame forward let's make this 120 and let's move this somewhere around four seconds oops not minus uh, 120 only 120 so if you see you will get this kind of animation over here and then at this point i want the logo reveal animation of this two should start so i'll move them over here like this okay select this box and let's move this downwards so first i'll get this and then this now we need to animate this one also so let's bring this downwards press p for position and then press ctrl r and let's bring the one ruler over here create one keyframe at position go few frame forward create another keyframe at position go to the start and let's simply bring this microsoft text downwards and make sure that it should go after this uh, grid then select those keyframes and uh, you know hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we will get this animation now select those layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as text animation and hit ok like that okay so we will get something if you see this animation we will get something like this go over here hold alt close bracket open bracket like that and now we need to create mask on it so let's select this layer rectangle selection tool uh, first of all let's remove this grid we don't want that let's select this rectangle uh, and we will create one mask like this select this hit ctrl d press v double click to select this mask and let's move this over here again hit ctrl d select this mask 
let's move this over here control d double click to select this mask and let's move this over here again hit control d double click to select this mask and let's move this over here now uh, we what we want that they should arrange one by one so let's go five frame forward and let's try to adjust the distance like this okay so we will get this kind of revealing animation over here and let's do one thing we will select this and let's bring this position downwards like that okay and if you want then you can increase the distance between them so it will take a little bit time to animate and you can go over here and you can increase this also like that now i'm going to select all of these layers and including this box too uh, and press ctrl shift c and let's reveal animation and hit ok then go inside this comp let's go to around one second select all of them and let's try to move them over here okay now press ctrl y to create one solid background and apply fractal noise effect on it like this and instead of soft linear i'm going to choose blocks complexities let's choose one so we will get something like this go to the transform uniform scaling make sure to unchecked and we are going to increase the scale width up to 12,000. basically our need is that we need this kind of continuous white strips like that and if you want then you can decrease the scale height also now select this uh, fractal noise layer press ctrl shift c and let's call it as fractal noise and hit ok and let's hide this now select this reveal animation and go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect and choose fractal noise layer like that and let's hide this box for now and let's see this how does this animation looks let's choose quarter resolution so we can see our animation like this okay now select both of this fractal noise uh, this uh, i mean or instead of that select this logo re reveal animation and hit ctrl d select this third layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for find ages effect to apply and now i'm going to select this reveal animation and i'll move them a little bit forward up to 15 frames and if i see this in full resolution we will get this kind of outline over here now uh, if you see my animation is starting from this point so i'll select this and this uh, and hold alt open bracket like that and then enable this box layer and this animation is starting at this should start at this point so i'll select them and i'll move them over here from this point okay so after this point this animation will start to animate then right click new and create one null object and then select both of these layers and let's make it apparent with this null select this null press s create one keyframe over here then go somewhere around 8 second and let's make this 90 so along with that you will get that scaling animation also and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and you can choose whatever background you want i'm going to choose white and let's move this downwards like this okay and then i'm going to select this re reveal layer first which is this one i'm going to go in effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect to apply and let's increase the distance to 10 increase the softness to 100 and uh, opacity to 20 like that let's make the distance to 20 or even more than that uh, like this and change the color of this one to something like bluish one okay like this so along with that what will happen you will get this kind of elegant shadow you can choose 10 amount also like this and at 8 second i'm going to hit n so uh, at the end i'll get first this and then i'll get this animation okay 
and if you want then you can do a little bit of addition in this simply right click new and create one adjustment layer and you can uh, search for lens flare effect so what will happen you will get this kind of flare so you can move this over here and let's increase the brightness a little bit and initially it should be over here so at start i'll create one keyframe at flare center hit u go somewhere around let's say at this point i'm going to move this from here to here so we will get that animation over here okay so yep this is my final output and this is how we can create this kind of logo reveal animation